Let's talk about debugging in R. If you're actually doing data analysis, you're going to make mistakes. Your code's going to have errors in it, and you need to be able to track down those errors and fix them. So in this video, we're just going to briefly describe general strategies for debugging and hit some really common errors. The first one is a problem with your working directory. So I have a file, a data file, in my R and then measles folder called coverage.csv. And this has data for measles vaccination coverage for various countries around the globe. I want to read in those data. I'll call the data set D and I'll use this read.csv function to read it in. It's called coverage.csv. I'll try to execute that and I get this error. Cannot open the connection, no such file or directory. So this is basically R telling you that it cannot find this CSV file. And the reason is that my working directory right now is not in this folder. If you want to know what your working directory is, you can type in get wd and then open parentheses. And R prints your working directory, which for me is just my home folder. Now I need to change my working directory to this folder if I want to load this data file. Or what I could do is type in r slash measles and read the data in that way. But let's try to change our working directory. There are a couple of ways we can do this. I can do it manually by typing in set wd r slash measles and I would want to execute this before reading in my data. So I could put that in front of this call to read.csv and that would work fine. Another thing I can do if I'm using RStudio is go to this session pull down menu, set working directory and then choose files pane location. So this is my files pane and if I click on that button Essentially that runs this line of code that I just wrote up here. I'm just setting my working directory to my r slash measles folder. Another really common error that you'll see is trying to do something with an object that is either missing or non-existent or simply misnamed. So let's look at the structure of this data set. We've got 11 variables, 5,853 observations. And what I want to start by doing is making a histogram of this column here, numeric. This is the percentage of individuals that are vaccinated for a bunch of different countries. And we've also got other data on region, year, uh, World Bank income group, and so on. But let's start with that histogram. Now, this column is called numeric. If I type that in wrong, I'm not going to get anything out. So it says error in hist default d numeric x must be numeric. Now it's really important to actually read these error messages. Sometimes they're not incredibly easy to understand, but usually it's helpful to actually read them and try to understand what they're trying to tell you. So x must be numeric. That's indicating to me that this right here is not numeric. Let's see why. If I just print that, I get null. Well, that's strange. I thought I had a column Oh, it's a capital N. Okay, let's try that. I'll change that lowercase n to a capital N. Oh, I got another error. Figure margins too large. Okay, well, that's just telling me that my plotting window is not big enough. We'll try that again, and we end up with our histogram that we're looking for. 